love being outdoors. I, I love seeing all the plants that are going to be springing up. Uh, that's why they call it spring. <laughs> and uh, the animals are coming to life. The birds are chirping. Uh, it's just a good time to be outside. A little bit more about me. When I was very young, uh, gosh, early grade school, I remember going to sleep at night and wondering about what's beyond beyond. <laughs> I knew that the, here's the earth, there's the sky, there are the stars. What goes on beyond that? Is there a wall? And then if there is, what's beyond the wall? Those were my early thoughts. Uh, I should have known early on uh, that I don't have all the answers, never will have all the answers. But uh, questions about my purpose in life and everything else, I guess is something that I always thought about. And it wasn't until I was 43 years old that I really started looking into it. I started reading self-help books. I got into Zen, meditating, read a ton of books, uh, 25 books within a couple months span. I was just looking for answers. Tried yoga, uh, really helped with my back and my stiff neck, but uh, didn't really do much to get rid of the tension that was in my heart, uh, the tightness in my chest. And uh, one spring day, April 6th, 1997, heard a simple message, a message I know I heard in my youth, but I hadn't heard it in decades. And the simple truth was, is that God loved me. Uh, and also that I was, fell, fell way short of the purpose of God. God is love. Uh, the Bible says the wages of sin is death, and I was, that's where it was leading me to. Uh, life uh, without purpose and death at the end. Uh, thought I had purpose, thought I had purpose with work, but uh, when, I, when I heard the simple message, it's called the good news, that I had fallen short and that there was no earning my way uh, back into God's grace. Uh, God figured that out uh, long ago couple thousand years ago, he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross, uh, to die for my sins, to die for your sins. And through belief in that, the Bible says if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That simple message I heard that day is exactly what I needed. I didn't find my answers immediately, but there was a peace that came over me. I can't explain it. It was just, it was bizarre. All of a sudden, I could breathe deeply again. I slept well that night. And during that message, I heard, uh, pick up a Bible, read the book of John. So I searched my, ho my house. I found the Bible I got in third grade in Sunday school. And, and I opened up the book of John and I started reading. And I read through John. And then I read through Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John again, and the rest of the New Testament. And the answers were there. I found the answers to my life. I found the purpose for my life. Uh, in my job, I was meeting people right and left uh, in sales. You meet new people every day. And I could, I had a new heart. I had God's heart for people. Uh, so the New Testament is the good news, God coming to earth in the form of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ showing us to love, to serve. And I want you to know that. That's why I'm giving you this message today. It's not for my benefit any longer, it's for others. I'm part of a motorcycle ministry. Uh, we share the good news with motorcyclists out there uh, and anybody that comes in our, into our path. I want you to know one thing at the end of this message is that God loves you. God does have a purpose for your life. You will go through trouble. The Bible says, in this world you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. So I hope I haven't lost any subscribers. <laughs> I don't have that many, but I hope that uh, this good news uh, will be planted on your heart and that you will find a way to turn to him. Give him all your burdens. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Uh, give it all to Jesus. Uh, your life can start anew today. With that, I'll end with some drum shots.